fee for it, which is six euro for adults, four for students, and four for the ambassadors of music from Missouri. Yeah. Yeah. There's no charge for kids under 10. And please pay at the end. Better for me. Because at the end of the tour, there are always more people than on the beginning. <laughs> well, today I doubt it. <laughs> Let's do like usual. My name is George, not Watchman here. And first of all, I want to give you an idea about the duties a night watchman had back in the old days. Well, their main job was to take care of the city at night. They were like police. <coughs> they were in the streets in the night time when all the others were sleeping. And that was dangerous, because all the good people were at home. Those who were still out in the streets were the drunken folks and thieves, maybe even enemies. And that's why it was dangerous, and that watchman had to carry this kind of weapon. It's called a hell barn. One can do a lot of things there. It's for multiple use. And there were six of us, six not watchmen. Each had to guard his own district. Now it's just kneeling. I'm the only one who's still around, still doing it. Thank God. <laughs> I had to get rid of the other five <laughs> to make a living. <laughs> but that's long ago. Another duty that watchman had, that's why they got the horn, was to give a loud signal when there was a fire. Do you want to hear it? Yes. 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 But do you see any fire? No. no. Yes. Ah, Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> fire. <laughs> Well, loud enough to make everybody wake up. <laughs> Who was living close enough. And all these people ran out of their houses, trying to fight the fire as quick as possible. It was the biggest fear people had. <clears throat> Nothing worse could ever happen to a city in the Middle Ages but a fire at night. It was surely good to know. Somebody's out there. That watchman's on duty. His quick alarm could save people's lives, could save the city. <clears throat> That sounds like it was an important profession, doesn't it? Yeah. It's true. <laughs> but the thing was, it was considered a low profession because people were superstitious in the old days. They feared the night. They thought about all kinds of scary things going on at night. A night watchman was with all this. He was with the dark element. And that's why it was considered a low profession. I know that's not logical for us now, but it was for people back then. For them, it all made sense. And by the way, guess who were the two lowest professions? Who was on the very bottom of the social scale? <clears throat> Executioner? Yes. He was the outcast. And the second lowest? <clears throat> Grave digger. That's it. These were the two lowest in every city, and they liked to work together because they had the same clients. <laughs> the short time difference. The third lowest was already me, that watchman and tower guard. And not to forget two other things. That watchman also were lame pluggers. They liked to treat them in the evening when it went dark, and they had to check if the doors of the houses were all locked. And that's what a night watchman did all over Europe in all the cities like here. And we had them here until 1920. Quite a long time. The real night watchman existed in Rotenburg. Doesn't mean I'm not real. <laughs> it's my main job since 17 years, and everything's better now, I admit. <laughs> Work time is much less. Not all night. And pays better too. Thanks for coming. <laughs> and it's not dangerous at all like it once was, because you all come with me. <laughs> so I feel very safe tonight with all of you people. And after this intro, it's almost time to leave. Just one last remark. You know, there's a lot of history coming up 
about Rodenburg and the Middle Ages. You can never, ever keep all this in mind. And why should you? I put it on a DVD. <laughs> <laughs> I narrated it. It's playing an hour 15 plus a bonus track. <laughs> it's the American system. <laughs> it was edited in Sarasota, Florida. <laughs> it's working <coughs> everywhere. <laughs> and it's way more than a tour, it's like 10 times a tour. You know, it's the whole history of Rodenburg from the 1300s until World War II. Well, I just wanted to mention, <laughs> it's available at the end for 15 euro with a free postcard. <clears throat> you know, all the years before it was 18, but the weak daughter <laughs> made me go down. <laughs> so, Anyway, it works. <laughs> okay, now enough for the beginning. Time to go.